Hi guys, so we talked to Mossin and Mossin was after some tropes from um, when you're fighting with Nogi. So what I'm going to go through is I'm going to go through Sangaku Jimmy, which is sometimes called Kata Jimmy. Okay, so we're going to start in Kezanokai, or sometimes called Kezikatami. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to release the elbow, so I'm going to let him slide his elbow out. And then he's hopefully going to come across my face, I'm going to come behind the elbow. And what you'll see here, so my bicep is aligned to his uh, carotid artery on the right hand side and my hand is behind his head. So as he's coming across this way, I'm going to use this shoulder to push in against the artery on the other side. So I'm going to drop my head down, I'm going to clasp my hands together and then swap my legs over. So this right leg is going knee into the side and the left leg is going out. So I've got a good stable base. I'm going to push onto the balls of the foot and I'm going to come up and I'm going to push through my leg, through my shoulder, and all the weight's going to come down into the side here. So it's a bit like, um, so Shimi Wazu is constriction technique, so I'm not trying to snap this on, I'm trying to get into here, get nice and tight, hold it, control it, maybe change my grip if I need to, and it's there. Okay? Now, what I can also do from, from here is move across, so I can bring my knee in, come across into a mounted position, yeah, and again, I'm going to come down onto my wrist, down on the shoulder, pull in here, and some much from here. So this might happen if I'm in this sort of position here, and he's reaching up. And I can, so basically, as he reaches up, come behind the elbow, I come behind the wrist, I would help. Come behind the elbow, push, and drop my weight down. Come in, get this all nice and tight, pull in. Okay. What I really prefer to do is actually this on the other side. Okay. So what I would normally do is I start from here. Maybe I'm in a uh, coming to what's called the Zuri Keza, which is a broken scarf hold. Okay, so I've ended up throwing him landed here, and he's going to reach across the face with his other hand. So I'm going to push, and then come across, hand on shoulder, and turn this way. So you can see my legs have swapped over. The reason is because if this leg is here, and you can't really do it in judo, but in other arts, there's no reason why you can't strike into the here. So I want to swap my legs over so that it restricts his movement. So you can see I've got my hand on this shoulder, I'm pillowing it. You can see my bicep is in on the carotid artery on this side, and pull the shoulder up onto here. Okay. So again we're going to move across here, and you can see that I'm um, tightening up. I can do the second of our chokes from here, so I'm getting nice and tight. From there. What I prefer to do is to come across the body, and you can see this leg is laying down the side of the body, and this leg is outside it. So I've come across the body here, and then literally all I do is I just lay down and I drop my hips. And then choke down. Okay? So essentially, I'm coming to, I've got into some sort of position here, and he's coming across my face, push, come behind the shoulder, or the other part. Shoulder, lift it off the ground, here, and across the body. And then just lay down. And then make sure you drop your hips to the ground. Um, another thing to think about is part of the problem I might have is where I'm coming across the body here, is he grabs hold of my legs, and now I've got to fight. So I need to get past these legs. So what we can learn is how to do a headstand. So we want to make a triangle here. Get the walk in. Okay? So that's quite important because what I might want to do is I come into here, push this out of the way here. So I need to get past these legs. So I use my headstand or the control that I've got to lift over. So Watson's going to try and grab my legs and go across. And you can see him straight into it. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.